Hi everyone, Bobby Laporte here again with my weekly tip for your best next move, where I help you have more agency in your work, acknowledge your capacity to act, and see what you can do right now. So many of you know that I've been working on my leadership book on navigating uncertainty. And it's been really nice to see how so many of the concepts I've been studying and sharing are being used successfully by my clients. And one of those is the new model of decision making under uncertainty. Now, I hear from many of my clients that in the face of not knowing what is coming or not having enough information to confidently make a decision, they often get paralyzed, hitting the pause button, waiting for certainty to return. But that is not going to happen. Decision making under uncertainty is very different now. <clears throat> Timelines have forever changed. Leaders like you must now face the reality of needing to make decisions when there is no clear path forward. And with the pace at which things are moving and changing in our world, we need to recognize that the cost of delay is much greater now than it's ever been before. Look, you know, we all know that we no longer have all the answers. And I know that's a tough admission for some leaders to make but we can't even see around the corner to what's coming tomorrow, never mind next week or the next quarter. But at the same time, as a leader, you must still develop the ability to think about your next move and not necessarily rely on what you've done in the past. I call this ability strategic awareness. It means having the self-knowledge and self-awareness to trust that you are headed in the right direction to confidently make decisions in the heat of the moment, even though you may be headed down a path you've never been before. And hey, this can definitely be a scary place. I get it. What if you make the wrong choice? What will your boss and your peers think? Maybe your team will lose confidence in you. Perhaps, but the alternative is even less attractive. If you make a decision that turns out to be wrong, changing course if necessary is better than resorting to what's been reasonable for you in the past or worse just waiting fearing the ripple effects of what could go wrong taking no action in these times will surely negatively impact how those around you view you as a leader much more so than taking action moving forward finding your best next move so here's my tip the next time you have to make a non-trivial decision before you react to what you've done in the past or do nothing, stop and think and ask yourself these questions. What is the real issue here? What do I need to know, <clears throat> excuse me, to move forward? What resources do I already have to draw on and who else can help me? And then finally, what move can I make that at least creates forward momentum for my team, knowing you can always change course. Look, I understand that this behavior change will not happen for you overnight, but you have to start taking some risk to think differently now about decision making under uncertainty. I want 2021 to be a year of momentum for you, one of possibility thinking that takes advantage of the agency we sometimes forget we have. That's my tip for this week. My new book, When the Curveballs Keep Coming, a leadership playbook book for an uncertain world will be out this fall. So stay tuned for more information. I'll see you next Tuesday because Monday's a holiday. So have a great week and take care of yourself.